Yes, sir. So introduce yourself, please. My name's Deman. I am a nobody. A nobody. I am... I don't know how else to introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think, I think it's uh, Europe. So, so, what brings you to Speaker's Corner? I just try and get people to realise there's a choice in life. Choice? Yes, everyone has a choice to make in life. Uh, who, who says otherwise? Uh, people. They seem to think that everything is... Black and white? Not just black and white, they just seem to think things are happening to them. Oh. And they've, they've got no choice in how they can react or how they can be. Absolutely. They think that the world can change them and that's the way it is. They don't realise that they've got a lot more power than they realise. And the yeah. power is the choice. Absolutely. The choice is either you live the righteous way, yeah. selflessly, yeah. or you live selfishly. Selfishly. Yeah. Selfish would be yeah. self -wor yeah. worship or worldly yeah. way. Self idolatry. Yeah. Exactly. So I, I I agree with you because I think it's like unfortunately a lot of people have that sort of like they 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 have a complex victim mentality. Mm -hmm. It's like some people like uh, like free Palestine people when I see them, they constantly have like oh this is happening this is happening they constantly cry more than whinge about it all the time. But unfortunately there's no substance to their talk. Okay. When I see that and that just saddens me that when oh we need to boycott this because they put a value to a human life like if we boycott this we're doing something a lot bigger mm. rather than actually saying that we need to we need to instead of blocking the roads or instead of like uh, riling people up and going this far right far left and all that blah 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 I say that if we come to a discussion and you have a peaceful dialogue rather than blocking all the roads and, and tearing down flags of other people and putting your flags up mm. that's riling people up that's yeah, not giving any cause is it I see the same thing happening on the other side as well. Yes. I see Jewish people pulling down Palestine or exactly. Palestine flags and they're doing the same thing. Exactly. I think um, at some point they both need to realise that the whole situation going on in Palestine and Israel hasn't just started recently. No. It's been going for a very long time. On and off. And, yeah, on and off, 100%. And the only way to find a solution to this is to have a communication where they're trying to come to an understanding yeah. rather than a we were right all along yes or yeah like the self-righteous game that a lot of people play like but that's why when i say it, a lot of people are like the palestinians are all purely innocent or the israel is all purely innocent mm. i think i say that's wrong yeah. because not everything is too black and white i see yeah, the gray zone in the middle, you know what i mean yeah, yeah. but let's come to the original question mm -hmm. why why does this man if you might have seen it on youtube why do you wear a satan satan's mask by the way the satan what, mask? yeah what's that is that is that somehow like a freedom of choice no no it's to hide this ugly mug uh, <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking it's to be self it's to reflect on other people it's is antagonistic? No, 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 no antagonistic. Because while I'm wearing the mask, I'm saying the exact same thing I'm saying now. Yeah. I was going to say I'm just as nice as I am now, but I'm not very nice. Oh, right. Um, I, I keep the it, same it, attitude. Why, why are you being nice to me then? I'm not being nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, no, uh, I appreciate that. No, no, it's all good. So I, I'm still me. Okay. When, with the mask or without the mask. Okay. The mask is just because I came to speak this corner about... Uh, I think my first time was on the 24th of December, yeah. uh, New uh, Christmas Eve last yeah. year. And I saw people who are Muslim and I saw people who are Christian. And I was like, oh, this is great. You know, people who believe in God. And then I realized that they didn't represent the religion well. They would say they, they come from for Islam or they come from Christianity. But yeah. while they're here, they are shouting at each other with mm. anger yes. with pride yes. and with attachment yes and that's part of the self worship or the worldly way okay like so, have, have no decency to actually like converse like this but but rather than just constantly like uh, my my religion better than yours exactly that mm. and if anyone was to bring up a point instead of having a conversation about that point yeah it would be like oh uh, if i said oh your bible says this mm. Your instant reaction wouldn't be to have a quick conversation about that. It would be like, oh, but your Quran says this. Yes. And it's just them just slinging mud at each other. Yeah. Half an hour later, they're no better off 
no one's gotten closer to God, yeah. but they've walked away angry yes. or feeling self-righteous because they think they've won in an argument. I, I'm, um, I'm not going to claim that I'm perfect no, no. because I've done that too. Yeah. Like that literally happened yesterday. Like a person was asking me about define, pedof define a pedophile mm. or define a child. It riled me up because I work with children. Mm. I work with uh, abuse survivors, right? Mm. So when I, when I know the pain and when I know the torment that is upon them, mm. I resonate. And I can't, I, can't, I can't see anyone defending that whatsoever. Mm. So I went angry on him. But for the first half an hour, I was collective with him and I was trying to give him the answer. But the thing is, unfortunately, if someone, if, if I'm talking to you, supposedly, uh, supposedly, I don't know what your religion is, but I will say, if you are a Sikh, mm. I'll say, okay, you go to a Gurudwara. Uh, but in your Gurudwara, this happens. And then you come up to me and ask me, okay, but in your, in your churches, this happens. Mm. That, doesn't, that doesn't do anything, no. you know what I mean? No. So if I say, supposedly a Muslim joins in, and we're talking about a Christian denominational issue, yeah, obviously that'd be a private conversation, right? Mm. But the Muslims are not perfect either. No, they've got sex so, with them themselves. They're, yeah, the Sunni, the Shia, the, the Shin, Sufi, the exactly. Salafi. Well, I'm here to disrespect right? Out the park now. Leave the park now. Leave the park. No, oh, brilliant. You're leaving as well. You're going that way. You fight him, right? You're all oh, right, well, well uh, the, the so drama, for a the, peaceful conversation. The, <laughs> the, the, the tea is brewing. Yeah. It's okay, hopefully. It's all right, it's all right. Uh, it's all part of his plan. His plan, God's plan. Everything's a lesson. Everything's a lesson. We could, we could point at this and say, look, we've had the police just <laughs> nearly arrest someone because they are getting aggressive over religion. Don't need to follow them. How are you? Very Instead good, sir. Nice yeah. you, you now got a bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just missed me and missed him. Uh, anyway, sorry about that. No, it's okay. Uh, so I was just explaining that you've got a bunch of people who are just following them because they're just here for entertainment. They're here for drama. Uh, yeah, let's just show the audience. Actually, no, that's all right. You don't need to move your phone. But uh, look over there, guys. So what's happening is, is that um, some some attack happens and everybody just go for the tea or the drama. The as I said, the tea is brewing. Literally, the tea is brewing. But we're gonna have a decent conversation. We don't need to uh, go where the drama is. Anyways. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Right. The drama. Okay. So yeah, you were saying that. Uh, so 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 I I'm very happy to converse with people. That's right. No. So I'm very happy to converse with people, basically, in regards to whatever. Like, because I can't, I'm an ex-Muslim. Mm. Um, then I left Islam, but I didn't come to Christianity immediately. I came to Christianity, like, well, that took six years. How so, long? Six years, six nearly. Years, okay. Like, I was completely agnostic or atheistic, mm. like, just name it. Because I didn't, I didn't want to believe in anything. I just wanted to give myself the time, mm. like, heal. Mm. But, you know, what, things happen differently. But all I'm gonna say is like supposedly if I'm if I'm gonna converse with a if I'm gonna converse with a Muslim, I'm gonna converse with them. They're gonna ask me, but in, you you left Islam. They'll try they'll try proving me wrong. First of all, that's the first yeah, agenda, yeah. right? They'll ask you yeah, a question. Yeah. That, oh, you were never really a Muslim. Exactly. Yeah, I've seen that so happen a few times. This happens. Yeah. But unfortunately, when I speak to them, and if someone if someone was uh, someone was supposedly a Christian and now became a Muslim, the Christians wouldn't do that, would they? No, probably not. Yeah, Christian wouldn't do that because the thing is, because we we, we don't we, we don't uh, we don't have some sort of like an inferiority complex issue. No. So unfortunately, even when Christians are coming here in the park, they oh yeah, that's true. I agree with that. I uh, don't. Sorry. I don't. Uh, excuse me. You do not agree that Muhammad was a pedophile. Yeah. How? Um. I, I, I Sorry, look at, are you a Muslim? No. I look at things in context. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's I know it's a unique position, but I look at things in context. Uh -huh. So This is a very different conversation. About a thousand years ago, yeah. you could agree that life wasn't as easy as we have it now. Of course not. People would have loads of kids. Yes. The reason people would have loads of kids is because they knew, unfortunately, most of them were going to end up dying. Yeah. So, 
when you'd have these situations, if you had a chance where you could marry your child into someone who's righteous, not just anyone, you're not just selling off your kid, but there's someone in the village who is a righteous person who will look after your kid and ensure your kid has a chance of survival, mm -hmm. this thing was quite common in many different cultures. Okay. And I think that doing it in that sense isn't necessarily evil or bad because you're trying to give the child the best chance at life and you're trying to essentially because men want younger women we want younger women because not younger like kids but yeah. we want <laughs> but we want young women because they are the most fertile in the sense that yes as they get older they lose their ability to have kids yes so having a child bride is Back then, because I'm, I'm not thinking about today's standards. Yeah. I'm thinking about back then standards. Okay. Wasn't as such a grievous thing when, if you were to do it in a righteous way, where you weren't trying to have relations with kids, but mm -hmm. you would take someone into your house, you'd feed them, you'd give them everything they need. Once they get to a certain age, and then they would become your wife. Okay. Like be betrothed. I think no. is the word that oh, they yeah, would use. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you'd be betrothed to someone, you mm -hmm. take care of them, and then once they get to a certain age, you can then marry them and then do what okay. married couples do. All right. So, so I, let me, uh, so thank you for first of all explaining. I understand and I would agree with you mm -hmm. on certain things, mm -hmm. but I would have to disagree with you on this uh, one part here. Which part is that? Unfortunately, when I see Muhammad being the best example for till the end of time, that's what they say. Yeah, that's, that's a claim. That's a claim, right? Mm. So this is in by, this is in the Quran as well. That he is he's the best uh, moral example for all mankind. Mm. A best moral example for my, all mankind for all the time. That's a claim they make. Mm. So if that's a claim, and I work with children, and I see someone affected, can I say if Aisha, being a six-year-old, was you know given to him? Mm. And then on the uh, uh, and she was still playing with dolls. This is their hadiths. Mm. I'm not making up for myself. No, no, I've heard the, yeah? the hadith as well. So when when he's being the best example, if he if he was if if they claimed that he's not the best example for mankind, if he was just like a sin, sinful prophet as like everyone else, I wouldn't I wouldn't care. Mm. I would I would I would say okay okay I resonate with that because the thing is he's a sinner so he's done something wrong so at least it's being wrong. Mm. But if someone is saying to me and justifying his whole entire action and calling him the best example for all mankind, I have questions on that. No, no, for sure. My, moral, my morality will kick in because I'm, I'm going to say, okay, so him being the best example, as said by Allah in the Quran, did God, no, God would call him the best, man, best example for all mankind? That's where my issue is. No, no, That's I get where, that. But, but the issue where this go for it, go for uh, conversation started from was calling him a pedophile. Yes. So this is why I say that back then it was a common practice and at that time there was no real age to marriage it was literally mm -hmm. uh, I think they would typically go by when the woman enters puberty. Well, well Islam, Islamic history is not a really really uh, we not, don't we don't have much of a history written by them as a I'm, I'm not they, talking about just Islamic though I'm just saying oh right Arabian the cultures, Arabian Peninsula uh, the cultural all, all basis. sorts of places in the world yeah, they would enough. typically go by yes. the age that the girl hits puberty to yes. say, okay, now she's ready for marriage. Yeah. So this is why, for me, I, I, I wouldn't like to use the word pedophile. Maybe he wasn't a righteous person. Maybe there was <laughs> ulterior <laughs> motives. Okay. But I wouldn't use that particular word because. Well, what I would think, you use then? Uh, what? Well, what I would rather focus on. Child diddler? No, I wouldn't <laughs> even go that. Far. What I would focus on is the fact that the Quran says that you're only allowed to have four wives, but Muhammad, Muhammad had eleven wives. I yeah. Think. I think that's a much more poignant point because <laughs> okay. he's not even following his own rules. No, of course He's not. saying that these rules have come from God, yeah. but he's exempt. Yes. So does that mean that he doesn't have to follow God's rules? Why doesn't of he? Of course not. Does, does, that, does that put him on the same part as God according to the Muslims then? Obviously. So that is the important point that I would like to make in okay. regards to Muhammad rather than just saying, oh, he's a... Because just calling him a pedophile, it, doesn't do it justice? No, it just doesn't. Okay. It just doesn't uh, move the conversation forward. To them, it's an insult. Yes. And for us, it, or for anyone else, it would be like a point scoring. Like, oh, I got to say May this to the maybe, face. Maybe, maybe I, I. So okay, I will put myself there. So I would say that I would say this just to rile these people up because it will give them 
it, it, will, it will rile these people up. It, I, it's more like I'm saying it and to antagonize them because of all these things they've, they have done. Like supposedly, yeah, but you don't you don't lower yourself to their level. You bring them up to your level. Okay, if I try bringing them these these people up to my level, supposedly, if I have a decent decent conversation with you and I can say uh, you're wearing a Satanist mask, you whatever whatever your beliefs are or anything, I'm able to have a conversation with you. Mm -hmm. If I go up to these people, first of all, they give a snidey remarks. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, look at this guy. Look at what he thinks of himself. Mm -hmm. Like like in between talks. Yeah. If I start commenting on your you know, dressing, if I start commenting on your beard, your hair, your your entire existence or what you are or what your bag is if i start making these side remarks while i'm conversating with you what does that make me that's that, that's what every time when i try having a conversation rather than having a point at me and say it's francis a yes francis uh what do you call it we disagree because we had this thing or this thing and this thing i will have the respect for them that i will okay they have at least spoken to me in a polite manner mm. But if someone is going to make side remarks, which I'm not going to agree with, if I'm going to say that you're making side remarks, you think that you're going to get away with it? No. Why not? The thing is... Okay, so you have to be bigger than them? Yes. Why? Because if you're not, if you're letting your pride take over... Pride. Because that's essentially what happens. The okay. ego is uh, not saying that you're always guilty of this, like you said, but we're all growing, we're not perfect. Even mm, exactly. I make these mistakes sometimes, yes. and this is how I've learned, by making the mistakes. Once you let your pride take over and you let your, because your ego got hurt and then you have to say something back to them, yeah. then you are giving up your peace, your righteousness for this person. Are they really worth it? Who's more important? This one person making a snide comment or God on what he wants? Okay. God wants you to be righteous. So, right, so that's this... the focus you should have constantly. I know, and I think that these situations happen because God, like I said, with this thing that happened now with the police, is God constantly testing us. He's given us a chance to grow. Because if we don't experience these mm -hmm. bad things, how are we growing? If yeah, we the perseverance builds the character, character builds hope. Yes, it's, it's a very Christian-like idea, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it's in Romans, basically. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. So what's your belief then, if you don't want me asking? I only believe in God. I, I, religion so you don't is, have like a, a religion okay, is against my religion. Okay, there's no affiliation to religion. It's just more like being agnostic in the fact that you know that God exists, but you're not going to know which faction. No, no, I, I believe every faction came from God. Okay. God sent all the religions to us. Yeah. But man, because we're all a bunch of kids and we're a bunch of idiots. <laughs> okay. We, yeah, sorry, I've got a tip, uh, particular way about my language. That's fine. We're all a bunch of idiots and a bunch mm -hmm. of kids. Mm -hmm. We typically don't learn the lessons and we then attribute that religion to ourselves. And this is what I call identity religion nowadays. Identity religion? Yeah, so people are like, oh, I'm a Muslim or I'm a Christian, but when you boil it down they don't live like what the religion what would their, what the teachings are exactly yeah, everyone's guilty of that yeah so it's identity religion <laughs> and then there's also the idea of belief-based religion that's a new thing as well that people are doing now they're like oh no i'm a christian because i believe this 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 and this and this and it's like, okay but have you worked on yourself have you actually tried to become more righteous oh no, no no that's not important it's just the belief in this this and this or muslims oh you just need to believe muhammad is the last prophet believe this believe this believe this and that's it you're a muslim yeah, but have you worked on yourself? Have you gone towards righteousness? Oh, no, 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 we all make mistakes. It's not that important. As long as you believe these things, then you are Muslim. And Muslim technically means someone who has submitted their will to God. Yeah. So how can they claim to be someone who submitted their will to God just by believing and not through their actions? Exactly. So I think actions are more important than just Absolutely. lip service. Absolutely. So that's why like when I came to you, I spoke to you. I'm not speaking to you, not as someone like, oh, like I'm going to make you a Christian today. No, mm. I'm speaking to you as a human being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you just want that, to know my story. Exactly. And that's, that's, that, that's the conversation we need that, to have. Those because, are the best conversations. Because unfortunately, what people do is like they, they, they come with an agenda. They're like, my agenda is to make you a Christian. Yeah. You do not know the person. You need to understand the person first yeah, in order yeah. to have a conversation with them. Supposingly, I speak to a Muslim. I say, why you're Muslim? I want to understand why they're Muslim in order to converse with them then. Yeah. Because if I do not know their their like idea or their con or their or their preconceived notion about the position uh, they're coming yeah, from, uh, yeah. what okay, who you are, what you believe as a human being, what your thoughts are. Okay, are you a, what, what sort of Muslim are you? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like that's sort of question. Yes. It so and just, then, yeah. just to realize, okay, this is their understanding, then then I can at least converse with them on their level. Yeah. That's what I'd like to do. Unfortunately, we all come to a point where I go up to a Muslim, I say, you this and this and this and this. I've done that. Mm. I have done that. I don't don't take it the wrong way. 
I'm not perfect. No, no, we but, make but, mistakes, but, but, but as long as you recognise it and yes, you're able to grow from exactly. it, exactly. That's the key that, thing. That's how. That's how as Christians, a lot of people need to be like. But mm. unfortunately, they all fall short, and then what happens? And then everybody has an idea that mm. this will happen. Oh, this is how the Christians are going to treat. This Christian is going to come up to you, and they're going to—they have an agenda. They don't care about you as a human being. They have an agenda. You're going to make your Christian, then they're going to move on. Yeah, that's not how life works. No. If, if then, then that does happen in most cases, but that it can isn't happen. typically of course it can the way happen. it should be. Even even but the, but the Muslims are more. How, how are Muslims more? What do you call it? Attractive, because once they once they bring someone to Islam, they'll try to. Give them a community. They'll try to yes, give them yeah, a the sense of sense of a brotherhood, like a yeah. creed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what they will do, and that's how it's more more attractive to people who are socially awkward. Yeah, no, I've noticed that yeah, they, they you target know? the lonely people, the exactly. people who don't have friends, the people who don't have a social gathering. Exactly. Or something. Uh, it's like the drug dealers, the heroin users. They yes. typically go for the weak and the vulnerable. Exactly. And these guys have a similar MO. Yes. But 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 that's coming with an intention then, isn't yes. it? Yes, 100% so I agree. So you're, yeah. not, you're not seeing a human being of why you need to help him. You're seeing him in the perspective of this is my target. I need to do this, get him, get him in for a bit. And then a year or two years go by, right, and that, that's we're done. Yeah, yeah. Like use and abuse, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's, yeah. That's, called, that's how I would say they're, they're being the worst of people. I wouldn't say the worst. I, like, because there's no humanity there, right? I, I think it happens on both sides. I've seen yeah, Christ of course it does. Of I've seen course Christians who say to people, all you need to do is profess Jesus is Lord, and he came to die for your sins, and that's it, you're Christian, you're saved, you could be whatever you want, you could do whatever you want, yeah. because you've believed in Jesus, you will be saved, guaranteed. The, the, they both have similar tactics, and I think there are some good Christians and there are some good Muslims, yeah. but unfortunately they are few and far in between. Yeah. Most people are doing what you said. They're trying to recruit for numbers yes. rather than quality. Exactly. You want quality people and you want to make the not so quality people even better quality. Like I have an, I, I obviously I have an inherent bias here. Like I'm a Christian, right? Mm. So I would say to everyone, like uh, supposedly, I've got, I've got books. So I would say, so I, if I study Genesis, a lot of people have taken metaphorically, but I would like to study and I would say, okay, why is Genesis like this and this and this? I would study it rather than just blindly believing it. Mm. This is my thing. And I would encourage everyone, like I would say to everyone, whoever comes here, I would say, okay, supposedly I have an, I, I'm an Eastern Orthodox. I have a Bible, so I'm studying Eastern Orthodox Bible. Why do they have that perspective? Then I'll see different person perspective and then come to a rationalization, mm. okay, realization and rationale that okay, this is my belief, and why this is my belief, so I can converse about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's someone just saying, professing, oh, I, uh, Jesus is Lord, I accept him, hallelujah, that's it, you're done. Why? Because it says that so in the book. Yeah. There's no actual thinking done exactly. behind the scenes. No, I agree. This is the saddest thing, but, but Islam falls short too in that way. No, what Islam yeah. happens in Arabic, you're praying in Arabic. Why do you pray in Arabic? We don't know. No, apparently God only knows Arabic, and that's the only language that, that is. That, that, yeah, that, I don't that's agree stupid, with right? Well. Yeah, no, like, I, the, like I God, if God has created, yeah, yeah. God has created, uh, cre uh, God has created according to them. If God is the ultimate creationist in every perspective, and then God has also got the idea of what the languages are. So is it necessary for me to pray in Arabic while me being His creation and the one who created me? Exactly. No, I do, that, I that, that's where these are the sort of things which are. That's why I left Islam in two hours because I rationalized quite quickly all these things because studying arts in my life. I'm no, a, study I, I, cool. I study arts, I study philosophy a lot. Okay. So for me, I when I when I would question all these things, we're coming to a realization, I don't need to take much time to see the stupidity inside something, right? Mm. Supposing if I if I present to you uh, a banana, and I call it an art. But I have actual carvings on the banana, and you see the detail inside. Then you will say, "Okay, there's an art here." Mm. But if I just show you a banana, you go, "What the What the hell are you yeah, doing?" It's a banana. <laughs> it's a banana. Yeah. But if I have done some detail in carving on it, and then you say, "Okay, well, this is something. It's not just banana, right?" Yeah. yeah. So that's how I would say. But, uh, as an ex-Muslim, would you not say there's some good wisdom within the Quran, or do you think it's all? Bad? Well, well. First of all, if I see the I see the character of a human being who brought Islam forth for us, mm. I have an issue. So if his character, marrying warlord, marrying uh, this, 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 whoever he feels like, um, and then and then going around and then boasting of his sex life and everything else, and then giving us the Quran and saying that he Allah needs to speak for him, uh, for his, him to send his companions away because he wants to have sex with his wife. Mm. Like, they sort of verses, I'm sorry, you, excuse me. Those, aren't, those are from the Hadith, right? No, those are from Quran. Those are from... Exactly, those are in the Quran. 
where Allah has to send out his uh, like don't don't fuss him too much go away when you're done with him like when mm. these verses on the Quran I'm like what on earth are you talking about mm. like this is this is this is this is more ridiculous than anything I want to read about God I don't want to read about how people are going to knock on your door and then people have to walk away and people have to go out because Muhammad's too shy <laughs> what? That, that, that's okay that doesn't make that, that doesn't because I think that's quite kind of important to not just rely on someone else to exactly uh, constantly be your guiding wisdom that sometimes you have to start thinking for yourself exactly so I think there's some wisdom in there as well in that particular verse that you just said there so you're you're, you're way too optimistic about things but I like yeah, that because fair enough because I think God makes things happen for a reason and yes there may be a reason why Muhammad may have been a warlord or whatever and I may not understand it I may not agree with it because mm. I'm an idiot but God he's got the ultimate wisdom ultimate knowledge he's allowed certain things to happen for a certain yeah. reason so I'm sure there's a lesson in there that we could take and yeah. it doesn't mean that he's the perfect example yeah it just means that because I think Jesus was technically the perfect example yeah man that's so my belief yes uh, well same for me because he was born special compared to everyone yeah. else he was from a kid he was prophethood well, rather than someone who grew up and then became a prophet absolutely that's where I'll show you something because that's where I would uh, if you can mm -hmm. supposedly if uh, you don't have to mm -hmm. but what I'm saying I would suggest you like this is a really beautiful book so it's like the uh, I'll put that on the screen for other people to see. It's like the Eastern, uh, the the Eastern Greek, Greek Orthodox, Orthodox New Testament. Yeah. So this will give you a, a, a some sort of like a, a different perspective of the New Testament, of how uh, what do you call it? The more explanation about the Bible. So it'll give you a more idea. I'm, I'm a bit no. arrogant in this situation. I'm afraid. Um, I've no. already had an experience with God. I already know God exists. Okay. Uh, no, so no, for no. me, the who said what, when, and where. It doesn't matter because it doesn't okay. actually help you on your journey to get closer to God. All right, fair enough. Because He knows everything. No, no, no. I just, I, I just thought no, maybe no, if you like to read it. different perspectives. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I appreciate. It. I, I, I prefer these conversations because you judge a tree by the fruit. Yes. So all these religions, they've got all these books, but the way I read it is going to be completely different to the way you read it. Absolutely. You so, have a bias, obviously. Well, not just a bias. Is um, like you just said, I'm a bit of an optimist. Okay. So I would always look for the wisdom in it, the truth in it, and yeah. I would try and use that. While someone else who maybe have has got anger or something, mm -hmm. who might read the Quran or the Bible and use it to mm -hmm. justify something bad in their life, yeah. it's better for me to meet the people and find out what they got from it. Yes. Rather than just what I know, what I could get from it. Exactly. Because I could always get wisdom from anything. Exactly. That's why. That's why. If I go to supposedly a Muslim, and I speak to them about in regards to uh, like the creation idea, like okay, mm. the human, uh, the human being, uh, like in a, uh, in a womb, how he's oh, formed okay. and all yeah. that, right? So if I see that in the Quran, if something is getting, if something is wrong, even doctors. I've spoken to NHS doctor or ex-Muslim and they say like we read this and then we became doctors we, we can't resonate with it but some people do mm. but I want to I want to nitpick their brain I, I'm not gonna say you're wrong I would mm. say okay come come to have a conversation with me and ask and I'm gonna ask you one thing why do you believe why you believe mm. and if you know this is wrong scientifically you still believe tell me the reasons mm. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna barge on them because I'm gonna have a conversation but if someone is going to have, say, but in your Bible it says this, then I'm going to be like, you know what, you can't be conversed with. Because yeah. I was respectful to start with, but if you can't respect me, then thank you very yeah. much, I'll no. walk away. No, yeah. or At you that can point, you away. have to walk away because exactly. it's not going to be a productive conversation. Exactly. So for me, like I said at the beginning, when I came here and I saw Muslims and Christians both who were supposed to believe in God, I yeah. thought that they would come here and try and help each other become more righteous. But instead of trying to help each other become more righteous, they're just trying to prove each other wrong. Crab rule, like like crab rule, isn't it? Like crab if rule. some if someone if they see someone going growing up, supposedly there's a Christian who is speaking to a Muslim. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of Christian will come to a point. Oh, okay, so now they have they have spoken to him, and now they're gonna try pulling him down. We've mm -hmm. spoken to you, and but the thing is, you have still got some serious heretical ideas. Mm -hmm. Rather than conversating, okay, why do you have these heretical ideas in the first place? Mm -hmm. They will start bashing them. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're wrong. But supposedly, if a Muslim 
if, uh, if, if a Muslim gathers, so I, if you were a Muslim and I'm a Christian, if I'm speaking to you, there were Muslims coming here and telling you off to tell, uh, not and to talk to, not to talk to me. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that happen. That, just, that doesn't make they, any they sense. They actually they used to do that to me. They thought I was Muslim. Yeah, so whenever uh, I have a conversation no, with because someone, because they come they, up to me and they go, don't them, talk Unfortunately, they're, they're such... Uh, I'm sorry, that's just, they, they like to compartmentalize everyone, don't they? They're like LGBTQ. Like if you're brown and you got a beard, uh, you're already a Muslim. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I, it's because of the things I say as well. Because I say I believe in one God, I believe oh, that right. uh, you should submit your will to God. I say all these things. Got you. They, they go, okay, see, you're pretty much Muslim. You might as well just say your Shahada. I'm like, no, because if I say my Shahada, that means that if I ever decide to change religion, you'll kill me. I understand that there's... Obviously. There's an effect when you do these things. It's not just, and I don't believe in magic words. Mm. I don't believe in magic words. For them, it's magic words. It's like, oh, you don't have to do any work on yourself. All you need to do is say the shahada, yeah. and you become a Muslim. And, then that, and all your God. sins are forgiven. Yeah. It so make there's sense no. But the thing is, like, if, so supposedly, I, I, I ask the same thing. So I became a Christian. So all my sins are forgiven. I'm a new person. But I would say, okay. But I need to rectify as well, don't I? Yes, like I, exactly. If I supposedly have done something wrong, I need to repent for these things. And I also, it's supposedly I've done, I've robbed from you. Mm. When I was, well, when I was not a Christian. Mm. Now I became a Christian. If, if I get the real, true Holy Spirit, I will go up to say, I'll say, I've done something wrong to this person. Mm -hmm. I have to come up to you. And try and make and it right. Something. Try and make it right and also apologize to you. Mm -hmm. That is what I say the effect of God is on you. Yeah, it doesn't right? just instantly like, dissolve uh, all your yeah. sins. Exactly, because the thing is, because if, because if you will feel wrong, you will feel the you will feel that bad, but the thing is what I say, but because, this is a Christian token, so um, there's not going to be inherent bias here. Yeah, yeah. So for me, yes, we are, we are forgiven, but the thing is God also makes us realize of all the things we've done wrong, and if I can make it right, I should make it right. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, some of the people will not tell you that. Some of the people will already say, no, you're already forgiven. Like the Muslims will say that. The thing is, I need, I, I say, but God is ultimate just. So the justice of God is going to prevail no matter what. Yeah, it doesn't so, matter what we think. Exactly. So if I have truly accepted God, I would truly say it because of it, because for the love of his creation, I am going to treat them mm -hmm. with how I should treat the creation of God. Yeah, no, no. You know good. what I mean? Yeah, 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 for sure. But the thing is, unfortunately, many people lack that. It's a sad reality. It's, it's a lack of critical thinking. And uh, yes. unfortunately, like I said, when um, these people who try and do conversions, when, when all they do is conversions, they always target the weak people, the people who are in a bad time in their life. Mm. And they're typically not going to be doing rational thinking. They're going to be doing emotional thinking. And when you're doing emotional thinking, you're easily manipulated. So, yeah, then they're not going to actually have these rational thoughts that we have, like critical thinking thoughts, where we are actually able to understand that, no, it's not just about accepting it, you then have to do the growth as well. Yes. It's more like maturing up, like, real, like supposing if I'm talking to you, like, if, if, I, if, if I had no regard for you, if I say Christians only, that, what human being does that make me? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be, I, I'd rather be a Muslim then. <laughs> right, because you know, the Muslim they have a superiority complex already. Like, everyone's the worst of creatures, uh, so we are the superior of all. Yeah, no, I... uh, like it's, it's literally every, everyone. So we just uh, you can, uh, go, we you can come this side, come this side, come this side. Yeah, we are, we are, that's why we have, but don't buy into the conversation too much because they're a very decent conversation. There's no conversion here. <laughs> oh, okay. I wonder if you should say that. Oh, it's baptized today. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Praise God. Congratulations. Praise God. God bless you, brother. Happy Easter. And happy Easter to you. I'll talk to you about that anyway. Just a sec, brother. So, have a listen in here. So, the thing is, I'd rather be a Muslim if I say to, uh, supposedly I say to him that whatever, like, if I, you might be a Christian, and now I'm done with the Christians, whatever, like, I don't care. I don't care who you are. I have my group now, and that's it. Mm. That's Muslim mentality. No, no, I because agree. Because Christian... They believe that everyone else is a kafir or an yeah, unbeliever. unbeliever. And the only time you can become a believer is yeah. once you become Muslim, which makes zero sense. Because if you, as a Christian, believe in God, and let's say you don't believe Jesus is God, you believe he's a messenger from God, yes. you still wouldn't be accepted as a believer to them. Of course not. The only time you're accepted as a believer is once you convert and yes. say the magic words yes. of the Shahada. And I'm yes. like, no, you guys, are, you've taken it to an extreme. Exactly. You're not understanding that God doesn't want no. 
everyone to be the same. He wants people to come to him and grow in righteousness. Abs absolutely. Because the thing is, well, supposedly, uh, there's there's some few questions in the park. Mm -hmm. What they do is like, supposedly Charlene, she has a way. Mm -hmm. She, uh, Bob, he has his way. Yeah. Every question is they different. Got style. They yeah, got yeah. a style. But the thing is, do I say that they're wrong? Now that's not up to me to say that. Up to him, or how he likes to speak to people, that's his choice. Mm -hmm. But we still need to look within ourselves too, of how we are representing ourselves. No, for sure. That's what I'm saying, right? But I think that we do have... I, I understand what your point is in regards to we can't judge, but we also have to question some people. Be wise. I, sorry? Yeah, be wise about be it. Be wise yeah. about it, yeah. Because like I had a conversation with Shaylee uh, last week, I believe it was. Yeah. And I just asked her, do you really think this is the best way for you to do this? Like, you want to represent Jesus. Would you think that this is the best way of doing it by walking around trying to antagonize, trying to poke the bear, and then trying to point at them as the bad guys after you've poked the bear. Is that really the best way Jesus would have done things? Hmm, I can say that to you, in all honesty. Supposedly, now, it took us, I always say this one thing. Yeah. It took a psychopath to influence me. David Wood. David Wood. David Wood, Act 17 Apologetics. Oh, is he online? YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. Okay, yeah, okay, David okay. Wood. Him and... Uh, AP, Apostle uh, Prophet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've just recently been introduced to them. Oh, congratulations! No, 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 not literally introduced. Yeah, yeah, well, it's on YouTube, basically, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, it was, uh, it was them who actually brought me out of Islam. Mm. But their tactics, look at them. Like, your prophet is a pedophile, but the thing is, like, the way they spoke about things on YouTube, that's what brought me out. Mm. You know, so there is a certain element uh, that some people, if, you are, uh, if you're going to converse like this, is going to make me think too. Mm. It's, it took me out of Islam. Mm. So the antagonistic nature did affect on me, you know what I mean? Even on my family. But the difference with Shalini is that unfortunately, because she, because she is standing at the speaker's corner, so there, there might be some Christians, or there might be some Muslims, or there might be everyone who might look at her, and they might think, oh, because she does it this way, it might be, it, she might come as an well, instigator, might be an antagonizer, but her tactics can work on some people, but not on everyone. That's where if she, she goes around. I think you're being the optimist now. <laughs> I am, I am, absolutely. Let, let me just flip it on you. Go for it. Uh, so, sometimes you see Muslims, where they come up to a Christian preacher, and they'll go, ah! Ah, <laughs> like literally weird yeah, stuff. Yeah. Or they'll just stand there and they'll just say, they'll just shout over you as yeah. you're trying to do your preaching. Yeah. Would you say that's the same thing as Shaylee, where they're still instigating, but maybe there's a good that comes out of it? Okay, that's do you where. See, do you see the? I absolutely see that, and that's where I'm gonna say. So if Shalini, I would. Oh, Shalini. Shalini. Or Shalini. 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 Yeah. Oh, all right. On, on the day of our Lord's right uh, risen. Uh, uh, today, have <laughs> a, a Christian is uh, what do you call a uh, trying I'm to intermingle. A... Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do, uh, that's why I allow him. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so yeah, I would say on that perspective, where Shalini tactics, I do not agree with her. Mm. Complete off, mm. simple as. Because the thing is, I would say that if you're going to do this. The Muslims are coming up. They're going to start. They're, they're going to do the same. Yeah, so exactly. you know what's happening? We're playing a tit for tat. Exactly that. You, you don't progress. Yeah. No one's actually learning anything new. No. It's just antagonize, antagonize, antagonize. And yeah. then both sides have got a reason to point at each other and say, but you're doing it. And they're like, no, but you're doing it. Yeah. And then, yeah, it doesn't actually help people actually grow. So that was my point with her. It was just literally like, maybe there's a better way. Like There is a better way. There's Absolutely. Always a, but I want, the thing is, you can't tell someone there is a better way. No, you can. No, no, no. Because you tell someone, typically what happens is the ego goes on defense mode. The ego's like, no, who are you to tell me what I can't do? Because I then, then you can, then you can completely say to say to someone like this. Supposing, no, no. Supposingly, if uh, if if some if some um, if if him, he speaks to me, can't speak, said, tells me that I'm doing something wrong or why I'm doing it wrong. And he reasons with me, I will take it because I have the humility and the common sense to understand that I am not perfect. Mm. So that's where if you tell me that I'm doing something wrong, I really don't want to talk about her, but yeah, yeah, but, I kind yeah, of, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I kind of you. hinted at it, and the okay. response I got was, "But Jesus, even he did this kind of thing when he went to the uh, the temples, and he was being 
uh, throwing over the tables and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, but that's not... He did it with a compassion rather than trying to antagonize let me Let me put this straight away for the camera and for you. Jesus did this because Jesus was God. We are told to love the creation. Agreed. That's it. Agreed. I, yes, yesterday I fell short. If you watch the video, I've not I will send it. you. I fell short because I wasn't, like someone riled me up so much that I went berserk. Oh, on wow. that person. That bad. I was like, Berserk you... is a big word. <laughs> yes, and literally, that's why I'm it using it. It was that bad. Oh. It was that bad. Uh, the but language came out, but I can self-reflect on these yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 but good. if the person is constantly doing this repeatedly, there's no self-reflection, there is then egos kicking in. Yeah. So suppose any, I, I speak to you today, you're being respectful, but if you speak to me tomorrow in a different manner, I'll be like, okay, what's happened there? Yeah, yeah, but I'll exactly. reason and converse with you. Not like I would say that because now you've done this, now you're out of my life, I'm done with you. Mm. No, no, you give a chance. Yeah, I give a At chance. At least two to three chances. Yeah. And then after that, then it's like, okay, no, it's repetitive behavior. Mm. We need some distance. I think that sometimes distance is good in order to do the, have the time to self-reflect. Absolutely. Have the time to grow. And yeah. then you could always come back again in the future if it's up to God. Because, but, because, because, her, because someone's excuse, like her, we're, we're talking about her, but the thing is what I'm trying to say is like her excuse would be because Muslims do this, that's why I would do this too. But then, but then the question would be, with a lot of people watching, they'll enjoy the drama because it's funny. Mm -hmm. Don't take this the wrong way. I find it funny too. Yeah. But the difference would be that if you're doing this, you know, it just, you're not making any difference then. No. In all honesty. And what's more important, getting your back at them, getting your laugh back at them, or your inner growth, your growth towards God, your growth, growth towards Christ and being more righteous. What's more important? As you see that right now, look at that. Yeah. Like, look, look at that. I was trying it's, to figure just, out what's going on exactly. Yeah, it's, it's just... Sorry, this is being recorded. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry about it. it. it, it now you're in the camera. Okay. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm dealing. It's alright. You, you're just going to be famous. No, no, you're no, just no. Famous. No, I'm teasing you because because you know when the gym people walk and then they start antagonizing. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. God bless. <laughs> nah, I They're really, just really heartbroken about that. Yeah, like, that's oh, what I'm no. It's just a joke. You know, like people when they walk around like in the gym, like how dare you walk in front of my camera? <laughs> you're sorry. It's a public space. Whatever. Yeah, move on. Jog on. Yeah. That's it. But. There's yeah. really some characters over here. It's yeah, really yeah. Good, well, for some people, it's a chance to make some videos for YouTube. Like, we're making videos for YouTube, but my aim is to make content that will either help people think yes. or start taking steps to become better in their life rather than just entertaining. Exactly. That's the thing, isn't it? Because I want to, want to have a conversation, not for the not for the sakes of like just a banter, because I can do that in a pub, you know exactly. what I mean? But this conversation is more like to understand your perspective and understand my perspective. I can understand your perspective, or maybe you can understand mine. We don't know, yeah. but some fruitful conversation can happen. Yeah. People might some get something out of it. We might get something I, out of I it. I always get something out of it. I always learn something. There's always somewhere where I'm like, oh, I should have thought about that better. Uh, I, I don't get anything better out of when that, that man speaks because... I've never actually spoken to him. Well, I'm glad you've not, because I if you do... To. It'll be a good challenge. Uh, this uncle. Oh, Uncle Omar. I think Omar. Omar. Look at that, look at that. I do think it's fairly well substantiated. Yeah. He supports ISIS. Okay. I just yeah. tend to have fought with the Taliban. Okay. Definitely, definitely he's been arrested on, for terrorism. His house was raided. Oh, wow. Well, I, I, yes. I, multiple times. For yeah. terrorism, we've been yeah. on terrorism charges. Yes. That is definitely interesting. But yeah. I would have to say that this was an interesting conversation. For me too. Yeah, yeah, I really absolutely. appreciate it. I've yeah. seen you around a couple of times, but uh -oh. I've never actually had the chance to have a proper conversation mm -hmm. with exactly. you. Exactly. So. I've, I've seen you as well. I've, yeah. I've, 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 I've subscribed to your channel too. So. No way! Yeah. I know you get, yeah, why not? Wow. No, because I said, I, 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 was, I was intrigued. Okay, this is, this is strange and yeah, yeah. it's different, but you are a conversationalist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I enjoyed more. Oh, sweet. Because, because the thing is, I, I'm not like, oh, I'm only going to subscribe to Christian channel because I'm a Christian <laughs> only. But to me, that's stupid. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I would do. It would, becomes I, an echo chamber. Exactly, you don't really grow. Exactly. Because, like, like, I would subscribe to Muslim channel just to the. But, but, the, but the thing is, then there will be inherent bias again. Mm. Because I will watch their things. It's like, know your, know your enemy. Enemy, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But that would be the reason. Yeah. Not for the sake of learning, learning anything good from them, but learning. Confirming your biases. Exactly. 
yeah, yeah. Uh, but with other people it's more like a post profit or with you or with a lot of different people I would listen I would listen to them because I would I would love to listen of their different side of the argument because my thinking cannot be the same as your thinking no, constantly sure. right yeah, we're yeah. different people so I like that uh, like the unit diversity of ideas but unfortunately many other people fall fall into a place where if I'm a Christian I have to make content for Christians Mm. But no, I can make content for Christians in a very diverse full manner. Yes, like I can exactly. speak to someone like Khan who looks like a Pokemon here. Um, <laughs> what does a Pokemon it. look like, by the way? <laughs> See, he thinks you're cute. Oh, thank you for the compliment, Khan. <laughs> it's easy to just getting better and better, isn't it? <laughs> Even my rivals compliment me. <laughs> oh, your rivals? Yeah, I'm a kind of. <laughs> yeah, I'm a kind of. Uh, was it, uh, in, in, uh, like, like, like a... Like a friendly rivalry. Yeah. So you're Gary, he's Ash? Yeah, I can say that. Or yeah. Like, like New Zealand and Australia. Okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> like, 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 New Zealand and Australia. I'm obviously Australia. Like, have you seen New Zealand? Lockdown. I've got Jacinda Ardern. I've got Jacinda Ardern. <laughs> One of the popular leaders in the world. Who have you got? Do you know it? Do you don't even know any Australian prime minister? At least we got kangaroos and koalas and all the poisons and everything so else. So you don't right? know your own prime minister? Like and I you guess. actually dare compete with me. I am not Australian. We are not taking... He's a literalist. Uh, are you a literalist? I'm just going with your analogy. I'm, just, I, uh, I'm sorry to hear about you. <laughs> Anyways, we need... <laughs> but, I can see the rivalry now. <laughs> absolutely. But very nice it's to been talk a pleasure. So what was your name again? Francis. Francis, Francis, Francis. And what's cool. your name? Demand. Demand. Yeah. And Demand, if you don't want me asking, where are you from, by the way? Uh, parents are from India. India? Yeah, I was born and raised here, though. Oh, well, I was, uh, I'm in Pakistan. Pakistan in Coco. Uh, Technically, India as well. Well, it's not even India. India and India Pakistan it used to be the Bharat. Bharat, yes. Yes, so we're both yeah, Bharati. Sorry. Yeah, but unfortunately, I'm not ethnically uh, Pakistani. I am more diverse. It's okay, I'm not Indian. I'm worldly. Yeah. I was born on the world. I don't care about the country. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, we don't need flags. No. Uh, I, I carry a Jesus flag. Have you seen a Jesus flag? No, I've never seen a Jesus it's flag. It's just plain white peace. Oh, yeah. okay, interesting. <laughs> I did yeah. not know that. Cool, thank you. See, I learned something more. If, uh, I'm sorry, but this man, how old are you? Uh, 35. All right, I'm going to make a joke about you, yeah? Uh, and what's your name again? Demand. Demand thinks that well, a white flag does not represent peace. What does it represent then? A surrender, I thought it was. Like, uh, you know, the white flag uh, in the battle. Like the he watches too many Looney Tunes cartoons when he was growing up, right? Looney Tunes were the best! <laughs> they are! The Looney Tunes were the best. Well, the Animaniacs are. and all that. Oh, I love them. Yeah. Anyways, God bless you, Pinky and the Brain. Oh. You don't know Pinky and the Brain? Nah, I would have to confirm with you on off camera. Okay. <laughs> God bless you, brother. Thank but you so much. I appreciate the conversation. Uh, you're Thank absolutely, you so this was beautiful. Thank you, brother. Thank you.